Hello and welcome to the It Resolves box opening of Iconic Masters. This set just released today and I could not be more excited to open it. Um, obviously, a lot of people are thinking this is a very hit or miss set and I would agree. Uh, it's pretty much you get mana drain or you don't get anything. So hopefully uh, we'll pull a mana drain. We could also just get really lucky in the rare and mythic slot. Um, but... I would like to ask, what is your favorite reprint? I'm going to guess a lot of people are going to say Mana Drain. Um, but outside of Mana Drain, what do you like in this set? So let's go ahead and get started. Um, we're not going to be going through the common cards uh, just because there's really not too much there. Uh, so we'll just very quickly skip through them. And we will go straight to the uncommons. So we have a Sandstone Oracle, Rakdos, Carnarium, Swords to Plowshares, which is great. And our first rare is Blood Baron, which is not ideal, but we did get a Foil Seeker of the Way, which I'm pretty happy about. Um, if you guys have opened any of this set, I would like to know what you guys have pulled. Um, I've seen a lot of box openings with this already, and a lot of people are getting a few decent rares, but generally speaking, nothing too crazy. Uh, Ambusher. Amiria Angel, again, not great. Fury Charm. Also, be interesting, uh, what is your favorite master set? I think, again, a lot of people are going to say the first modern master set. Uh, but outside of that, maybe what's your favorite? Because I really liked uh, Modern Masters 2017. There's a Lightning Helix. That's great. A Magus of the Moon. That's a pretty decent card. Uh, basically, a Blood Moon for creatures under City Troll. Um... But yeah, so I really liked Modern Masters 2017, uh, and originally when I saw this set, I was actually really excited about it. I thought there were a lot of good reprints. Um, however, when the full set was foiled, we kind of lost a lot of the value, especially in the common and uncommon slot, and even the rare with Hypersonic Dragon. Foil Gutter Snipe, that's pretty good. Um, I also want to mention that there is another master set coming out, the 25th anniversary master set coming out in March, I believe. Uh, so we're actually only a few months away from a brand new, uh, brand dynamo is great, from a brand new master set, which should hopefully be pretty good. The Garden Hellkite, not what we want. Foil Kiln Fiend, pretty good. Um, and I'm actually more excited about that because I think that will be the set that people were hoping this would be. At least that's my hope. Uh, obviously we'll see in the next few months with all these spoilers coming out. Uh, Rampaging Baylos, not great. So far we've not really hit anything all that fantastic other than uh, do, 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 the Magus of the Moon. So, And we still have no Mythics, so hopefully we get that elusive mana drain everybody's looking for. Downshifted from Rare, Hoarding Dragon, that's pretty interesting. Electrolyze is good. Thunder Maw is not really the mythic we were hoping for, but it is a good card. Illusionary Angel. Let's see. I'd also be interested if you've drafted any of this set. Uh, what kind of archetypes have you drafted? Because there's a lot of really interesting ways I've found that you can go with this. I've done some practice drafts and really found it to be awesome. So I see our foil back here. Uh, not a very good rare, but this is a fantastic foil. Another Magus of the Moon. Um, however, obviously in foil, it's worth quite a lot more. Uh, quickly scroll through. Fogbank's good, uh, as well as a Mine Crank. Palladium Mirror. Uh, this is actually a decent land. It's like a $5 land, I think. It's not great, but it's okay. Um... I don't remember, I think that was from like Lorwyn or something like that, where you could basically filter those lands. Uh, let's see. A Rot Farm, Skywise Teachings, uh, Condescend's good, and an Oblivion Stone, not bad. I really don't like the artwork on this Oblivion Stone. It's quite bad, I think, in comparison to the original, but it is still a very good pull, so I'm happy to see that. Adds a little bit of value. Let's see. 
Johnny's Pride Mate, a very good card. Blade Wing, Illusionary Ambusher. Knight of Souls Betrayal, not a good rare, unfortunately. Shimmering Grotto as our foil. Uh, let's see. Haunting Him, Tavern Swindler, Stagger Shock, and Elish Norn. So this is fantastic, actually. This is out of the Praetor cycle. I think this is probably the best one to get. Uh, maybe Jenga Taxius is a little bit better, but this is actually one of my favorite cards in the game. So very happy to get that. Um, actually, I was looking. I believe they just released new playmats, and Elish Norn, I believe, is on one of them. So I'm kind of interested in getting that just because I, again, it's my favorite card. Weirdly, because white is like my least favorite color. <laughs> uh, serum Powder. Not bad. Hunt, hunt the Weak, excuse me. So what are we hoping for? We still have potentially another myth Mythic slot or two if we're lucky. Uh, so definitely still Mana Drain on the table. Other than that, uh, Horizon Canopy would be pretty good. Uh, Arak Champion, not bad. About a $10 rare, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, very, very good in Soul Sisters and in life gain strategies in general, which uh, this set is actually pretty fantastic and limited if you go for the life gain strategy. You will be well set up. Day of Dragons, not very good. Noxious Dragon as our foil. Let's see through commons i don't think there's any value commons at all in this set to be honest uh but hey there we go with thought seize so thought seize is great uh original art thought seize as well which is fantastic so really happy to see that and a foil mana leak um another one of my favorite cards gotta love mana leak okay so colagon monument coordinated assault monastery swiss pier pretty good and Genesis Wave. Uh, this probably isn't going to be worth much after this set is out for a bit, but it is actually a really good card, so I'm happy to see that. Uh, I think it was... Last I saw, it was probably like between 3 and 5. I don't think it's anything more than that, and it's probably going to drop fairly significantly with this, just because it is a reprint. So, Fog Bank, Tavern Swindler, Stagger Shock, and our third mythic, uh, Eurobrask the Hidden. So another of the Praetor Cycle... I don't know, probably the worst of the Praetors, if I had to guess, uh, so not really ideal, but I actually don't have one, so I'm happy to get it. Let's see. Maybe one more Mythic slot, if we're lucky. We've only got a few packs left, though, so Rasheen, Blizzard Spectre. This card is great in draft, by the way. Supreme Verdict, uh, it's a few bucks. It's not bad. Dragon Egg as the foil. Oops, there we go. Let's see. A Bubbling Cauldron. This is actually hilarious. Uh, if you watch the newest episode of the Command Zone uh, Game Nights, uh, I believe it was Jimmy that actually played that combo in his sealed deck. Hey, there we go. Horizon Canopy. This is fantastic. Uh, before this reprint, it was something like $100 or something ridiculous, maybe 80 But it's obviously dropped now, but it is a very, very good pull. That definitely helps out this box, which overall has not been great. It's been okay. Um, kind of average from what I've seen. Windfall is a fantastic uncommon. Rift Bolt is also good. Lord of the Pit. Uh, very classic card. Not really worth anything, but I do love that artwork. It's fantastic. Uh, last three packs. I feel like we're probably tapped out on Mythics. Hopefully I'm wrong. Uh, but we could still get a very good rare, maybe two, uh, if we're very lucky. Uh, Carotid. River of Tears. So, a decent land. Not worth too much, but it is, uh, I think a really cool card. Happy to see it. Alright, last two. What can we get? Ancestral Vision would be fantastic. Let's see. Doomblade, Aetherize, a Teferi. That's not bad. I'm actually really happy to see that. Uh, I do not have Teferi, so this is actually a good addition to the collection. Um, and a fo foil, excuse me, Orzhov Basilica. 
Uh, really, any of the bounce lands I'm happy to get just because they are very useful, especially in Commander, uh, where they are basically staples, I would say. Uh, another Mind Crank. Happy to get that. Undercity Troll, Condescend, and Spirit Monger is our last rare. Unfortunately, that is not what we were hoping for. So, very quickly, we'll go over the highlights. Uh, Horizon Canopy, definitely up there. Thoughts uses up there. Uh, o Stone. Megas of the Moon, uh, double Megas of the Moon, I should say. So, and of course, uh, my favorite card, Elishorn. So, overall, probably a fairly average box. Not exactly what we were hoping to get, but also not terrible. Again, we got a few decent rares and a couple decent mythics. So, happy to see this. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this box opening. If you'd like to see another one, we plan on getting a few more of these. Uh, so, we can do another one. We also plan to stream either sealed or draft, uh, probably sometime next week. So if you're interested in seeing that, make sure to tune in. We will post the uh, the stream times sometime during the week, this coming week. Uh, we just don't know based off of work schedules quite yet. So stay tuned for that. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.